Hey everyone, my name's Drew and we're here. This is going to be week number four, I believe, of the uh, PCL. And this is a super interesting matchup. Uh, I'm going to be going in with um, a few mons that uh, I haven't used quite yet, but I don't know. This is a super interesting matchup. I don't think it's necessarily a bad matchup, but it's not a great one. Um, he has a very, very strong team. He has a Mega Mawa, which is going to be a huge, huge uh, threat to have to deal with. Um, he has the Bulu Heatran combination, but let's see what he brings. Brings the Heatran, the Dawn Fan, Milotic, uh, Haxorus, Mew, and the Mega Mawile. So, first and foremost, no Ninjask. No Ditto. No Ditto is so, so huge. But, um, no Ninjask, which he did bring a speed passing Ninjask in previous weeks. Um,. No Jolteon, so my low no, so Manectric is pretty darn free. No Cryogonal, which we might have come. Hmm. No Bulu. Also no Bulu. Okay, so part of me was thinking that I wanted to lead off with a Pyroar. I might just want to lead off with Celebi here. I think I might lead off with a Celebi here. I'm gonna do that. Um, it kind of potentially counter leads, but first I'm going to take a screenshot of the team. I think Selby is my best chance of any type of a counter lead. It handles his team overall pretty decently well, and I could bait him into thinking that I would just want to click, um, Stealth Rocks first turn. But, um, if the bright opportunity is in front of me, I probably won't do that. I guess we're just going to have to see. I would really expect him to lead off with the Dawn Fan, maybe. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it does lead off with the Dawn Fan. So, I just want to get some damage off on this thing. And I'm going to click Giga Drain turn 1. If he wants to switch out, maybe expecting me to want to, just expecting us to exchange rocks. I don't think I'm in a position to just, like, allow us to uh, exchange rocks here. I do think I need damage on this thing because it... Um, it's not the most, it's not going to be like the biggest, um, brings it straight down to sturdy. That's kind of wild. It's a crit. So that's interesting, but it's not going to be like the biggest deal in the world, but, um, just being able to get this thing as low as I can will help me out. Like in the longer term, it definitely helps out my, my Manectric and I'm just going to click U-turn. I'm just going to click U-turn. He has no real reason to preserve this thing. Um, the rocks does its jobs. I didn't bring the tentacruel. I, I ended up last second um, foregoing the tentacruel for the Celebi because I thought maybe setting up rocks um, at some point in the game would be more beneficial than... Uh, I, I originally had in mind a Toxic Spikes tentacruel. Just go for the Ice Shard. That's totally fine. I did originally have in mind um, like a Toxic Spikes tentacruel. Uh, I didn't end up doing that, partially because, um, he had, he, he brought two steel types. Now, granted, the three other mons that I could have gotten the, the, the poison off on would have been pretty huge. The Mew, the Haxorus, the Milotic, that would have been pretty huge, but, um, it didn't feel a whole, didn't feel too, too worth it to me. I think my play has to be to go into my Manectric here. I will be able to get a an Intimidate off on whatever wants to come in, so that probably precludes the uh, Haxorus from wanting to come in. My Lodic would probably, would probably not want to come in, neither would the Mawile. That would leave the Mew or the Heatran. I would more expect the Heatran to want to come in, but honestly, who knows. The Mew comes in. I can Volt Switch on this thing. I can Volt Switch on this thing. I am also super curious as to what kind of a Mew this is. I definitely don't want to stay in. I definitely don't think I want to stay in here. But I would be super curious as to what kind of Mew this is. Um. Maybe I do want to click Thunderbolt. Maybe I would want to click Thunderbolt. Do I, though? What could this thing do that would... Oh, come it could potentially want to set up a 
nasty plot, but potentially a an agility. I think it's too early for that regardless. I'm gonna click Mega Evolve. I might wanna click Thunderbolt. I might wanna click Thunderbolt. But this Manic Trick is really valuable for the rest of the match. My instinct is not to like squander it right now. I'm gonna click Thunderbolt. I don't wanna give this thing free turns as well. So I just wanna get a bunch of damage off. This thing could be Scar for all I know. I honestly don't know anything about this thing yet. Um, we're gonna find out a whole bunch right now. The Intimidate does go off. And that's just a straight up modest Thunderbolt. Uh, ooh, goes for the Genesis Supernova, I'm guessing. But that looks like just a max HP Mew. Which is interesting. Could be max defense Mew. Z Trick Room. Z Trick Room. I don't know quite what he was expecting me to want to do. But that really makes me want to go into the Magirna. I'm going to go into Magirna right now. Maybe? Maybe I go into Pyro right now. Okay, what I think he's trying to do is he's trying to bring in the Mawile -Wow right now. I could Volt Switch. Because I think he's... I don't think he's going to want to stay in here right now. I don't think he's going to want to stay in here right now. But at the same time, I think he would want prefer to U-turn in case that I Volt Switch so he can potentially try to bring in the Milotic if I bring in the Pyroar. Regardless, I think that's worth it. I think that's worth it. Baton Pass. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Brings out the Heatran. And I'm going to have to get some information on this Heatran. Ooh, that's a crit. Ooh, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to say that. I'm sorry about that. He just said that hurt. Ooh, not, I feel bad. I feel bad. Okay. Now, Volt Switch at plus one to simulate the crit. Um, That is for sure a no bulk Heatran. That's for sure no bulk. To do that much. That's for sure no bulk. Makes me want to go into Exploud. To be honest. Yeah, no. Exploud is 100% the play. I 100% click Boombers. I naturally underspeed this thing. Oh, goes for the Fire Blast. This is definitely... Oof. Is that some kind of a Specs Heatran? It has to be. That has to be Specs, right? Fire Blast. Yeah, that has to be Specs. That has to be Specs. And I don't really have anything to take this thing on. Even then, Specs looks like it has to be somewhat of a roll. Uh, let me just see here. Yeah, even even Specs is a roll on my X Bloud. So what I'm most curious about is if um how well my Pyroar takes a hit. My, well my Pyroar might take a hit. If I'm at 75% after rocks. Um I probably take it. What I'm hoping for more 
is that I could potentially um, force a switch here. Uh, I do have the Hidden Power Ground. And I potentially bait in the Milotic, in which case I can uh, Z Solar Beam. Which is... Which would be best case scenario, I think. There's the Fire Blast. We should take this. Okay, we barely take it. Uh, now, this should be the last turn of... This should be the last... I mean, taking out the Heat Heatran is probably worth it for in the longer run. Um, okay, regardless. Regardless. I think this should bait in the Milotic. No name 5. It, it is a Milotic. Okay. And I believe the Twisted... Oh no, Trick Room has one more turn. I miscounted Trick Room turns. I miscounted Trick Room turns. Well, I I tried to Bloom Doom. There's the Ice Beam. Ah, oh, that's brutal. That's brutal. But it does allow me to bring in the Manectric. Wait, no. This thing is potentially competitive Adrenaline Orb. This thing is very potentially uh, Adrenaline Orb. In which case, I want to bring in the Celebi. I'll probably bring in Celebi and you turn out. Yeah, I think I bring in Celebi just as you turn out. I'd be very surprised. We don't see a Flame Orb, which, um,. Makes me think that I'd be very surprised if this thing wasn't, um, if this thing wasn't Adrenaline Orb, because I do have d Dual Intimidate on my team. Man, if I lose this, oh, the Specs Heatran is, de is genuinely brutal. The Specs Heatran is genuinely brutal. Okay, six is Haxorus. What does that mean for me? What does that mean for me? It means I threaten it out with my Zygarde? No. It would never switch out because... It would never want to switch out because... Um... It still has the Mawile in the back. So it probably means I just bring in the Manectric. The Manectric can Volt Switch, go into the Magirna to try to deal with this thing, if this thing tries to Dragon Dance or whatever the case may be. Or if this thing does just try to attack, it would have to... Um, my Magirna potentially clears it out. Um, if we scare it out, then we get a little bit of initiative with the Volt Switch. Um, regardless, it's going to be enough chip damage where um, my Zygarde can come in later and potentially threaten Oko with a thousand arrows. Um, the thing is, my Zygarde is, is in a really good position here. My Zygarde is in a pretty decent position here. The Mew and the Milotic obviously have to be uh, lowered quite a bit or dealt with in other ways. But um, the fact that it's not a Flame Orb Milotic does open the door a little bit. It does open the door a little bit, even if it is, like, physically defensive. But the fact that, I don't know, the fact that it might be competitive um, competitive adre Adrenaline Orb does make me think that it could be more offensive. Maybe doesn't take hits quite as well from Zygarde. If it's if it's just max HP, if it's just max HP, the thousand arrows should still do over half.
But yeah, my play is just to go into this thing. Yeah, even if it goes for the Dragon Dance. I'm not too, too concerned. Worst case scenario, this thing is at neutral. So, let me see here. Um... Yeah, Magirna Flash Cannon should do it. And he doesn't yet know that I'm... That I'm... Hmm. Yeah, Magirna Flash Cannon should... Do enough damage here. Assuming no bulk. But even... Alright, even if we give this thing max HP... Yeah, Flash Cannon does it. I don't think Earthquake is enough to really... Goes for a sub. Okay. Okay. Definitely interesting. Could try to just be gauging out what I want to do here, but um, I'm not worried about a neutral earthquake. I'm not too, too worried about a neutral earthquake. I don't know. I don't know what he's trying to gauge there. There's an earthquake. Oof. That is definitely adamant. Oh, it's the it's life warped. Okay, that's what it was. That's what it was. Maybe he was trying to get me. I don't know. I was, I was gonna say maybe he's trying to get me to spend Z move, but um, it's an S tier mod, so it can't have a Z move. I don't know. I don't know. Um, he can't see that we're leftovers. Um, I would imagine he would want to go into the Milotic here, and at this point, McGarrett can't do anything because. Doesn't have the best matchup against the Maul while. Um. Oh, actually, maybe he has a slow team if it's Trick Room. Maybe he has a slower Trick Room team. Okay, if this is a super slow Milotic, then I can get a plus one floor cannon off. If not, then I mean this thing can't really do much against the rest of his team anyway. Or at the very least, other mons on my team have better matchups against this thing. So, I just click Floor Cannon here. Okay, it goes for the Scald. So, I can bring in the Celebi again. And the fact that I clicked U-Turn last time really just makes me want to click Giga Drain this time. Um, It's definitely a dicey one, but I don't... See, it is that big of a drawback play. He could go into the Mawile. Um, if he tries to Swords Dance up, I do have the Earth Power to get some damage off on it. Um, and then we can just see what happens from there. But we will get the Giga Drain off. That's really not enough damage. That's really not enough damage. But uh, as long as we can t uh, take this Ice Beam reasonably well. Yeah. Honestly, maybe I want to click U-Turn now. Maybe I want to click U-Turn. It's leftovers. So it's not com it's not competitive. Well, it, it might be competitive. It's not Adrenaline Worm is what I meant to say. Which frees up my Manectric a lot. It frees up my Manectric a lot. <sighs> I think he wants to switch out now. I think he goes into the Mawa. I think I think he thinks that this is the moment for Mawa right now. I mean, I would. If I were him. <sighs> I really think I click U-Turn. I'm going to click U-Turn. I don't see him clicking Ice Beam right now. He might. I don't know. I don't know. Genuine 50-50, but, um... I don't see him clicking Ice Beam again. He sees that I can get a whole bunch of HP back. I don't know. Stays in. Definitely can't bring in the Zygarde. So, uh, I'm kind of forced into bringing... Oh, no. Well, I guess I have to bring in my Manectric, but it's going to get plus two, which might take me out after rocks and being a plus two Ice Beam. This is not good. I mean, if it... If it takes me out, it takes me out. Oh my god. Goes for the recover. Actually, okay, now I really have to figure out what kind of a Magirn... What kind of a Milotic this is. Um, 
against Manectric. Well, no, against Celebi. Because I did around 40%-ish with Celebi. That's right in line with max HP. It might... Okay, so I'm thinking max HP, max special attack. Oh, I can gauge through Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Um, yeah, I'm thinking max HP, max attack. That's my shot in the dark guess. That seems right to me. That seems right to me. But now it's at plus two. So now I can look at... Now I can look at my... Manectric. And... Yeah, it looks like Volt Switch has to be my play. It looks like Volt Switch has to be my play. That's a crit. No, it's not. Is it not max? It, it might be max speed. Would that be a thing? No, it can't. Well, no, no, no. Because my Selby outspeeds, I'm pretty sure. Now, can we take a plus two Scald? We do. Okay. That's super interesting. And now we know that this thing is in range of a Giga Drain. Does he allow himself to take a Giga Drain? I feel like I can't risk this anymore. I have to go for Giga Drain. I have to go for Giga Drain. Okay. My Lodic should go down. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So now... Um, Mawa can come in. Mew might be more likely. Mew U-turn might be more likely in this situation. Man, shout out to, to battling DS in the, um, in the, uh, ICBA, because the Milotic Selby matchup is one that I've played a lot against him. I might even, you know, try to link that below, but, um, that match was wild. That ma that was an hour-long match, and, um, and, uh, this whole matchup situation is brutal on me. Okay. I mean, this is a potential speed tie. I'm going to expect him to, to U-turn, in all honesty. I think he, cause he's going to U-turn. If he does click U-turn, then, um, if he does click U-turn, then, um, if he does click U-turn, then I have to give up Selby in this situation. I might just click U-turn myself. I might just click U-turn myself. Maybe just to have this as a potential sack in the later game. Because if he goes for, like, nasty... Oh, no, he, he would go for Trick Room right now. No, he wouldn't go for Trick Room. Would he go for Trick Room? He might go for Trick Room. He might go for Trick Room. I guess I just click Giga Drain. Maybe get myself healthy enough where I can take a... Where I can take a U-turn, I guess? There's a Trick Room. Already spent Z, so that's a thing. But I don't know how offensive this Mew is. I have to be able to take a potential U-turn. I have to be able to take a potential U-turn. Because legitimately, all I want to do right now is... All I want to do right now is um, burn Trick Room turns. I think you might want to switch out right now, which honestly makes me want to click Earth Power. And I'm going to do that. Because either he takes out my Celebi... Oh, no. Mm. Alright, goes for the Baton Pass. I feel like that's worst case scenario. <laughs> but, okay, no, 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 no. P potentially not, because... I think I'm still in a position where I might be able to... Um... I might be able, I might be able to... Burn tr turns of Trick Room enough. I would have to take a potential Sucker Punch. He could Swords Dance up right now. He might not want to because he just saw me go for Earth Power. Three turns of Trick Room left. Can I burn three turns of... I don't know. I honestly don't know. Legitimately, all I have to do... 
all I have to do is burn these turns of Trick Room, even if I have to give, if we, even if I have to give it the Celebi and the Manectric. If I can do that, then Zygarde wins the match. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna click Earth Power. If it goes for, just pr 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 just to protect against Swords Dance, it could go for the Sucker Punch right now. But um. I don't know. It honestly makes me think that I... Oh, it goes for the knockoff. So, it, it, so that never mattered. So now we're here. Now we're here. And... I can intimidate this thing. I can intimidate here, but I think at the end of the I think at the end of the day, he always wins. Well, no, okay. So I I just all I have to do is take one hit from this Mawile after intimidate F with with my Zygarde because there are two turns of Trick Room. Um, my Manectric goes down this turn. My Zygarde has to take one hit. Well, no, then he has a Sucker Punch and he wins. He has to not have Sucker Punch, and my Zygarde has to take one hit. I'm not even I'm not even entirely sure that my Flamethrower does more than Thunderbolt. Uh, against Mawile. He just said, I misclicked I, and may lose. I dead ass hate Wi-Fi sometimes. Um, so Flamethrower does do more than Thunderbolt. So I guess I click it. We'll see. It goes for Iron Head. Oh no, that's a minus one Iron Head. I think that seals the game. Unfortunately, I think that seals the game. Oh, that's an Oko anyway. Oh, that's a crit. Okay. Well, um. Oof. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I know he. I know he was. He was um, DMing me earlier. I was kind of upset about the crit earlier. I don't think that mattered because I did have the HP ground on the Pyroar. Um, but I know he's been calcing out a bunch of things. So um, I think he's been upset about a few calcs um, throughout this match. So I don't know. I'm going to have to see. We're going to have to see um, after the match whether or not some of those calcs mattered, I guess. But uh, this thing should go down and we should take this week. Um, I'm going to have to see his sets. Um, I'm going to do my best. I'm gonna ask him. He, obviously, obviously he uh, is under no. Oh, he outspeeds. Okay, that's fine. Wait, was that last turn trick room? I guess it was. But I guess Zygarde wins now. Yeah, now the twisted. Now, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So it's a 1-0. That's fine. Um, I'm probably gonna put like a lot of annotations uh on this just to try to figure out like exactly what happened and what could have happened. We're going to um, we're going to uh, have to game this out quite a bit, but my instinct is to say that the only thing that truly, truly mattered was, excuse me, was the um, misclicking of Iron Head. Um, unless, unless of course he didn't have Sucker Punch, and or um, I just take two hits with my Zygarde. Regardless, Zygarde has to take one hit post Intimidate. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of ways to game that one out, but um, there's a whole lot that could have happened. I'm gonna have to game this out. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to uh, annotate it, and we're gonna have to figure this out after the match. He's under no um, obligations, obviously, to show me any of his sets, but uh, it would be neat to try to see his sets after the match, and hopefully, we can get a whole bunch of this worked out. And uh, as always, if I am provided with the sets, um, I'm gonna link to it. But uh, yeah, that should be week four we will go up to three and one and um man things happen this was a wild wild match i don't really know what to make of this match um hopefully a lot of the stuff that happened didn't matter too too much but uh i guess i guess i'm i'm gonna have to figure this out um in a bit but with that thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back really really soon with more weeks of the pcl and uh more weeks of a whole bunch of other stuff but with that once again thank you guys so much for watching and once again out